Hello, Lewis. Uh, you'll notice I'm wearing a hat. It's getting a little bit cold out. Um, I don't like to wear hats, but I'm inside and no one but Cherry will see me. And she already knows that I look like a cancer patient when I'm wearing it. Um, it's because of the bald head. Hats and bald heads don't go well together. Um, and why is it that whenever you're, you're bald and you wear a cap, if you pull down like that, you just you do. You just look like a cancer patient. But and why? Another question. Why is it that when you're a cancer patient and people put hats on you, you're just sitting there in your in your wheelchair, and someone you know they dress you because you're too weak to do anything. So so they put the cap on you, and then they can never put it on straight. This is like, you know. Give the guy some dignity. Not this. Ah. Hello, Lewis. Today I want to talk about the glass harmonica, invention by Ben Franklin uh, back in the 1760s, I think it was. He uh, discovered how to turn the, uh, the, you know, the wine goblet thing where you go, oh, like that. Uh, turned it on its side and made a piano sort of like thing so you'd use all ten fingers to play the the glass harmonica. Um, it uh, didn't really catch on because people were afraid that it was was making uh, the mad crazy because of the ethereal sound that it made. It was mainly the Germans who thought that um, people were going crazy. Not really sure why, but. Um, Nonetheless, back then, the glass uh, had a uh, lead base to it, and uh, lead will make you go nuts um, sometimes if uh, there's too much of it in your system. Um, so playing the thing, your fingers, it will get on your fingers and cause you to go mad. But they also said that people listening to it would go crazy because of the, the insane oh, noise that it made. Um, but there's no basis for for that. Uh, so basically, the uh, the instrument became kaput, to use a German phrase. The um, the noise that it makes, um, and, and perhaps the reason why people thought it made them crazy because it had that kind of godlike, uh, uh, heavenly sound, um, is uh, it makes that noise uh, because. Um, the, the pitch, whatever you call it, uh, is, is played between 1,000 and 4,000 hertz, which uh, apparently our ears hear things uh, two different ways, like anything below 1,000 and below, it hears it one way, and then a 4,000 and above, it hears it another way, and so that's how we understand sounds. Anything in between 1,000 and 4,000, um, uh, we just don't understand, like, where is it coming from? It sounds kind of crazy, and that's exactly where the glass harmonica plays in between there. And so that's why we're kind of like, whoa, it's weird, oh, something. Um, it's not heavenly, or people aren't going crazy. I'm going to play a little uh, glass harmonica music for you, because uh, it doesn't get played uh, that often these days. You don't hear it on the radio all that much. And you may have never heard it, so there it is. And now I'm going to uh, play a little uh, homespun uh, glass harmonica um, right here for you now. I'm not very good, but give it a shot. <laughs> 